everyone, this is Grave Cinema here again. This is me and my roommate. Roommate. And this is another reaction video we'll be doing. Yes. Now, for these videos, I pretty much know or have seen all of them already. So my reaction's not going to be like, Wow! It's going to be like, <laughs> cool, this part, I love it. So, yeah, she, however, has not seen pretty much any of these movies at all that we're watching. Seen at most, she may have seen or heard of a scene in one of them, but usually the more famous ones. Uh, I guarantee this one she has not seen at all or knows anything really about it at all. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I haven't told her yet. Uh, but I'm going to tell you and her right now, mm. the movie we shall be watching and having her react to will be Hello Mary Lou, Prom Night 2. Prom Night 2, not Prom Night 1. Yes, Prom Night 2, not Prom Night 1. And there's a reason for that. The reason is... They originally made a movie called The Haunting of Hamilton High. I believe that was the full name. And they're like, well, let's just attach the Prom Night name to it and call it a sequel. So you do not have to see the first Prom Night to watch this movie at all. And this movie is better. Okay. First one, I'm like, eh. Even with Jamie Lee Curtis, I'm like, eh. This one, I really like the story. It's kind of like a horror version of Suzy Q. Oh. You remember Susie Q? Yeah. Yeah, so that's like a ghost story. A ghost comes back. This one, kind of similar. There is a ghost that comes back called Mary Lou. Mm. Hey, Q, are you a ghost that comes back? Huh? <laughs> no, you're a little hellhound. That's right, my little church grim. Yes, okay. this one was released in 1987, so it's an 80s movie. There's a shock. <laughs> so there's going to be some fun 80s elements in this one. Mmm. Yeah. The hair is going to be stacked for miles, and the ozone layer will cry at the sight of it. <laughs> so, without further delay, let's get to it, and let's see what your reaction is going to be to this one. Okie dokie. Alright, here it's we go. It's probably going to be better than my prom night was. <laughs> I guess we'll see. You have to do that every time you see that opening. Yep. These schools always look like that. They're tall and ominous looking. They look like institutions because, well, if you tell me that's not a mental asylum, I'm gonna call you a liar. And starring Michael Ironside, probably the one actor in this you'll recognize the most because he's one of those character actors you've seen in quite a few movies. And you've seen. The name sounds familiar, but I feel like you've brought this name up before, and it's I'm an horrible at awesome names. It's an awesome name, Michael Ironside. It's like a transformer. Cool. I love it. What else was he in, though? Uh, he was in Total Recall, Starship Troopers. He was in that season three Community episode with the Law and Order parody. He was the dad of the from the uh, military. You'll recognize the voice when you hear him. Oh, you mean the uncle? Uncle, that's right. Because you're talking about the potato yeah. episode. Yes. Not the Hannibal Long and it was a yam. episode. Yes. Which is a form of potato. Yes. But yes. Okay. Yes, so he'll probably be the only actor you recognize in this movie. Okie dokie. Kitty? And a moving kitty. No, it's, it's a taxidermy kitty. Still. And a trunk? Yes. A trunk. You know, I don't think enough people use those really cool old trunks anymore. I don't know, they had a whole little style to them. I guess they're just unwieldy. I'm kind of surprised they didn't come back, though, with Harry Potter. Yeah. I get that it's unwieldy, but it's still really freaking cool. I'd use a truck more often. If I could. Forgive me, Father. For I have sinned. I have disobeyed my parents. Many times. I've taken the Lord's name in vain. Many times. I've had sinful relations. With boys at my school. Many boys. Many boys. Many times. Many times. My Sounds child, like fun. These are great sins. You must prepare yourself for the consequences. Father, there is one more thing. What is it? Poor child. I loved every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> Start in 1957. Really? 
was a, what at that time would have definitely been considered a whore. Yep. Nowadays, she probably would have just been normal. <laughs> She said sinful relations. She didn't say what those sinful relations were. They could have been. You can out of guess. Court. It could have been sex, but it could have just been making out with somebody. Simple yes, thankful. Thank you. I had no idea what that could possibly allude to without your finger puppets. I'm here to help. It's really cool. You look really beautiful tonight, Mary Lou. Could you get me a glass of punch, please? Sure. Don't go away. Cute clubs. The outfit's kind of fitting with that, which isn't a thing you see. I guess it's maybe more of a 50s style, but I like the way those clubs look. Yeah, you've done kind of another boy. Stage with Cooper. You want to shake? This is as close as you're going to get. Someone tells me he's about to get pretty vengeful. Did seem pretty upset. You came with me. It's not who you come with. It's who takes you home. Scram! <laughs> See you later. If you don't rinse that, it's never gonna come out. The mail's coming. Hide the stink bomb. The music's too loud. This rock and roll will never last. Huh! <laughs> Foolish movie. So, what's the lipstick on the mirror? Probably Mary Lou. For a good time. Cool. And your boyfriend didn't get it. Hmm. I'm proud. She's yeah. never given your ring to somebody. He had a pin for a year. She never went that far with him. They were going steady and holding hands and everything. Yeah. It's a really pretty dress. It is. For the fifties especially. Good fashion sometimes in other decades it makes me sit there and look and just go what? Yeah. Fifties fashion. I think it's pretty decent. Sometimes yes, and sometimes I have to stare at him and go, what were you thinking? Mm -hmm. Aside from, you know, the racism, I actually kind of like this culture. Yeah. The racism part, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. that can go away. But the style, pretty decent. You want to do pump cake at that time? Oops. Stop, drop, and roll, baby doll. Oh, I guess they didn't teach that yet. Do they now have fire extinguishers at that school? Yeah, getting antenna lighter on fire, did you? You really tell me that's who has my fire extinguisher. And nobody's gonna go get it. What's the chunk that to do with it? You put her body in a trunk? No. But the TR might have been put in there and her spirit might have possessed her. Mm. That'd be my guess. Okay. And now we're in the 80s. How can you tell? The hair. <laughs> it's always the hair. Oh, the motorcycle helmet. I am definitely more of a four best girl this myself. We are about to receive. I'll be late after school today. I'm gonna go to the mall to buy a new dress for the prom. Okay. What's wrong with your green one? Nothing. It's just. Not slutty enough. I've seen your prom, mom. Only happens once. That's so unrealistic. Every kid has time to go out for breakfast before school. 
None. School starts way too goddamn early. Get out. That's what that means. We're gonna force this check on you. Get out. <laughs> Is it a fruit? No. Is it a vegetable? No, no. it's a starch. It's a radio. It's yes. a French fry. Where have you it got just hasn't been born yet. Laughed. Just as you're laughing now. So I developed the guacamole radio. But that was no good. All I could pick up was stations in Mexico. But you can't go alone. It's a senior prom. The, the potato. potato. The potato. Yeah. Looks like the racism didn't get much better by the way. vegetable, rich in AM, oh. FM, and carbohydrates. Mr. Craven? Boys Mr. and girls. Mr. Craven? This moment Who's will be inserted this into the annals of Not scientific Not West, but it's a nice little nod. And I think we all know how painful that can be. Come on, son. Come on, come on. Excuse me, Blanca. Can I speak to you after school? I get lost, asshole. So why don't guys ask me out? Because you know to get lost, asshole. Why don't the guys she wants to come her to go out? That's what she means. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, you gotta go with who you're attracted to, but at the same time, yeah. there was no reason to call that guy an asshole. He was just being nice. That is true. Wait a minute, isn't that... Wednesday. ...guy from the prom? Yep. Hmm. Played by Michael Ironside. Yeah, I know Michael Ironside. You brought breakfast. Morning. Hey, look, I gotta go back to class. And that's a pretty Try not to forget to eat lunch. Are you sure it's the 80s? I don't know. Can we make her hair stand up anymore? It's like she stuck her finger in her socket. Yeah. I'd love to know how she pulled it off. Lots and lots of hairspray. I'm teasing. Of course I'm alright. It's looking serious. It's just some dumb checkup. My mom makes me go every year. Her doing that hair punched a hole in the ozone just by herself. I know, but well, I guess it, it's not a remake of the eighties. This actually happened in the eighties. Yes, this was made in the eighties. So yes, clearly they said not in the eighties. Listen, I had to fight things today. My brain is tired. It's okay, it's okay. I am awake. You are awake. But my brain is tired. Do not expect intelligence. I never expect intelligence. Hey! <laughs> I can't. Okay. Lucky you're cute or you'd be a pro rug. <laughs> Put Buffalo Bill to shame. Men suit? No! I say make furniture accessories. Why are you down there? What are you doing? Exploring. Why do I feel like her mom saying she couldn't have a new dress is going to start the whole problem? Probably. It might be she's looking for some other dress somewhere in the wardrobe department. The theater department. Yeah. That's the theater department. I'm a little nervous about what shows they put on. Fun ones. Cool mirror. It's antique looking. You gotta have a mirror backstage. It's important. That's not backstage. That'd be more like a green room. Well, when you're ready for backstage or, or green room stuff, there, you need a mirror at the ready. Mm. Gotta look good when you put on your wardrobe. Makeup. Quick fixie. I've stared at myself in the mirror backstage before. You stare at yourself in the mirror every time you pass one. Gotta make sure I look good for Google Earth. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Now, has that been there since the 50s untouched? That's my question. Um, probably not untouched. I can see that being used in stage productions just as a trunk. But nobody's opened it? That's not crazy. But you know what? That's too much pocket and we have a good story. We 
there and lose space. Why do you think they pulled that crack off? That shouldn't be untouched. Warned you. Definitely should have warned you. You should have moved them now. Not usually. Why is that priest looking ominously ready for him? Don't tell me that was the boyfriend. The other boyfriend? Could be. They know each other. Obviously. But surely he didn't become a priest. Okay, right? We allowed them to paint a naked student in high school. We're gonna volunteer for our students. It's very classy, real glass. Still naked in high school. It's the 80s. It was a very naked decade. Wasn't that the year the prom queen died in the fire? Nice touch, Vicky. Last person who wore this stuff died. Well, you better clean that crap off if you expect me to wear. Who gives a shit? She's upset. Is there lockers in the bathroom? Uh, it could be a, uh, a locker room. Hmm. Like super set downs? So much hair. Yeah. White girl afro. <laughs> this is God. It doesn't answer. I have a lot of messages. I know they're calling back. He sounds like a jerk. Got me something to remember, but I'm pregnant. What am I gonna do? You stop doing your hair like that. Maybe I won't be embarrassed when you show her the crown pictures. I finished putting the floor. What happens the one day you woke up and your hair was like that? Egg shower. <laughs> What if it didn't go away? It was stuck like that. And shave. <laughs> Just shave and wear wigs. Nah. With the way that's standing, if you could get it to curl right, I'd shave around the uh kind of what I'm intending on. Just making a mohawk. I mean I could do a mohawk yeah. or I could just shave around the top and have those curls come down in the front. That would be really cool. Mm -hmm. So what, you're gonna go after the pregnant girl first? That's in really poor taste. She's messing with the crown. So the ghost ain't gonna care what you are. Popping and jewel off the crown, release Mary Lou's spirit. Okay. to the crown and once you mess with it, you can lose the soul. It's possible the trunk was open before, but it just never fucked up with the crown. Okay. Oh god, seriously? You're gonna kill her? By hanging her. Totally faked her out though, you thought her head was gonna come off. Oh, I'm so glad they didn't do that way. I actually had so many fears of those when I was in school. They were always like, you're gonna cut your hand off or whatever. It's hefty blade, yeah. He's gonna get labeled a suicide. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> it just threw her out the window. And it fixed its crown. Ventral little spirit, ain't she? Well, she was a bitch in life. Bitch in afterlife, too. And my neck was already hurting. It's just how much I hate hanging. Maybe they killed her just because of the hair. Anyway, 
she's the first victim of the ghost. Night three, that's more like Susie Q, but as a word of home. Yeah, I think this is vastly different. Yeah. We haven't actually seen her manifest yeah. in Susie Q, you do. Yeah, the spirit is fully manifest in the third one, uh, but not in this one. And that one's much more close to like a horror Susie Q. This one, though, is still a fun movie with a good story. It's a federal offense. I'm a senior this year. I think I can make my own decisions. Not as long as you live under this roof. Then maybe I should move out right now. Maybe we should all think about this first and talk after dinner. Mm, she's 18. You can't stop her from moving out. She didn't say she was 18. She could still be 17. Yeah. Bless us, O oh Lord. But if she's a senior, it won't be long. For Jesus Christ's sake, and forgive us my Seems like she's getting possessed by the spirit. The yeah, Andes and they're not that 80s hair? What if uh, we met at the prom, you and I, and uh, since you're gonna be there and what I've gotta be met? there anyway. <laughs> yeah. You and I? Well, I, I guess we could be at the same place at the same time and no one's gonna think anything. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But they might think it's a date if they saw us kiss or something. What if, uh, if I were to kiss you now and it would be so awful that we wouldn't be tempted later? I'll yeah. just deal with yeah. it tomorrow night. What if you were there Under right the hot now? lights with everyone watching. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to get out of the way? Oh my god, that's so nice. Headband. Yeah, it's such an 80s the outfit. Ball, Bitch! Hey, stop looking the carpet. She's like, I'll lick him instead. Yep. Rather she lick you than the carpet. She's not gonna lick you into oblivion. People have tried. Now they know. Freaky 
Something. Lock that down tight. Well, maybe we should take her to see Dr. Pearl. She's not sick. She just needs to spend time with the Lord. Got knocked in the head with a ball and got knocked out. What do you say for dinner, Greg? Listen, I don't have anything against anybody who is religious. But that kind of psycho fucking bullshit where you're gonna take her to go to confessional instead of a doctor? Go <laughs> fuck yourself. Fucking Carrie moms. She's borderline Carrie mom. Oh, Carrie mom so takes it to a whole new feat. Yeah. But that's the type, you know, the overly religious, I know best for my daughter. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have had sinful thoughts about my boyfriend. There's something else. I've been seeing things. Hallucinations about Jess. Mary Lou Maloney. That girl who died at our school. You think that's gonna help? Why does the horse have red eyes? The eye also turned towards her as she walked. That's not crazy. Got demon eyes and the ears move now. This is my room. <laughs> She's obviously our final girl, so she can't be dying. She's a wicked hearted, though. Stay away from that. It's like a Stay away from that. Stay away from the mirror, baby. What's going on in here? A demonically possessed horse? I dropped the radio. Oh, no, honey. Oh, I love strolls through graveyards. Yes, but not while you're being possessed. It just seems like you're taunting the dead at that point. Although that does look really cool with the bug. It'd be fun to go play in. Yeah. That looks... Vaguely witchcraft. Oh, it's ritualistic. I think you're gonna be the next victim. It's kind of surprising. by no one. <laughs> she was beautiful, wasn't she? If she jilted me, maybe I would have... Buddy, that was another life. Harry Lamarmi has come back. Somehow her spirit has come back from the grave and she will come after you and me. You must take communion to protect yourself. Don't touch me. Do that to that girl? Bill, she's gonna kill you. This, this is the only thing that will protect you. I don't need protection from something that happened 30 years ago. That's yeah, so when we believe in ghosts, they're not really gonna do it. Even if you're a priest. You have to have faith in the holy symbol for the holy symbol to work. Pretty much, yeah. 
Sometimes a bitch deserves a slap. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Wrenches are generally not properly weighted. She's stuck in detention until five. She said she's just gone. Maybe she's possessed. But your mother so socks in hell, Father Karras. Just leave it in the office. Remember, too much plot. Ah, Always 80s plot. detention where the teacher doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I like the effect they're doing here. Somehow turned the side into a field. Mm -hmm. Sucked her in. Spirits, maybe, but a physical body. Probably not. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I have done terrible things. Will you help me, Father? Of course, child. Will you pray for me? Yes. Will you fuck me? <laughs> Come on, buddy. It's a big... Free country. Right, buddy. Dear God. Oh, looks like you have magical ability too. Baby, those confessionals aren't that sturdy. You should be able to kick your way out of that. She's gonna kill you with that. Probably. Seen screen, you better get that reference. Okay. This isn't working, Mr. Craven. Well, you need a little mm. more. What are you doing? Heat. Creepy ah. fucking teacher. All two chemicals. You know, that reminds me of a question I have to ask later about last night's camp. Last night's movie. The last movie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Titties! Hello, titties. God, Vicky, can't you see what's happening to you? Everything's swell. I've crimped my hair. This is swelling more. Why do I feel like she's about to die? Because anytime she gets slighted by somebody, they kind of end up dead. Oh, hello. Full frontal. Mm, I love the 80s. I'm sorry, Vicky. That's okay. Oh, she's gonna kiss him. Vicky? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you gonna do? Revenge fucker? No, I get it. It's like she's become a primal beast hunting her prey. She got a nice little body though. Definitely give her that. Mm-hmm, yeah. Busy right now. You're not leaving this house. 
your mind. Where's Dad? Dad is upstairs, still shocked to pieces. Hmm. And you know something about this, don't you? Please, now you just... No, you gotta stop controlling my life! I gotta find... I'm sorry, son. No, you did the right thing. Ow. I feel like this is above his head. He doesn't understand what's happening. Of course, you could have explained it to him. He probably wouldn't have believed you. Probably, yeah, yeah. What are you doing, old boy? Getting her up. Maybe it's true that she's dead or to destroy the remains, you know? I mean, she's already burned. Why do you destroy the remains any more than that? I don't know. Consecrated? Holy water? I don't know. Not about what we know, it's about what he knows. I think he's trying to prove she was there. Nope. I guess they found solace in each other in her death. Yeah. Well, that's Ada's problem for sure. All that Nina on. Cool. Oh, I spent $64 on my hair. Dave, you must have killed you. I messed up that $64 hairstyle. Supposed to blow him? Teenage boy. Teenage boy. What is that thing that she said on the dishes? I think like, it was a, yeah, I think it was a breath spray when she was done. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I just blow it. of her that she was possessing. And now that the copy's destroyed, the spirit comes forth. Nice they have to banish her back in the trunk or something. Oh, well, she's in hell. Yep. Is she? Yeah, she's getting deburned. Yeah.
Oh my god, he survived. Gotta have that stinger of an ending, just like in that Elm Street. That blonde girl, though. Have you seen her in anything else? I don't know. Mm -hmm. That face, you know, the screaming face. Vicky, yeah. Wendy Leon. I think that's pronounced Lion. Lion, Leon. I'm pretty sure that's Lion. Could be. L Y O N. L Y O N. L Y O N, yeah. You said I. I said L Y. No. I said, you heard I, I said Y. If it was I, I would have been Lion. It's the Y makes you think it's like Leon. Maybe it's French. I think it's Lion because Leon is spelled L E O N. I know someone whose last name is Leon. It's and it is way. French and it's L E O N. Leon. Oh, well, maybe it's. I think that's Lion. Maybe it's a different spelling. You know, people have different spellings for the same name all the time. Uh huh. Anyway. Anyway. So. So. That was Hello Mary Lou Prom Night 2. What did we think? What the ever loving fuck? I don't like the fact that to begin with, the girl was not. She was a bitch. And she won. She wins in the end. I know horror films aren't supposed to have happy endings. But I don't like the fact that she started out as a bitch, and now she didn't even she didn't even have a carry moment where she started out as a good person and then just got fed up. Yeah. No, she's been a spoiled, rotten brat the whole way through, and then just because she didn't get what she wanted on prom night, she comes back and starts killing people. And the first person she kills is a pregnant teenager who is terrified. Yeah. I think that's bullshit. I don't like that. I don't like that. <sighs> but, it's a storyline you don't often see. It is a villain that you can definitely hate. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know. I still want to know who the kid's mom ended up being. I mom, it doesn't I, really matter to the story. It didn't matter to the like story, to so they weren't um, needed. I would like to know if Carrie Mom survived. Uh, and I would like to know if the nods to the other horror films were on purpose, or if they just thought it'd make for a better story to have a mom like Carrie, have a craven. They were probably carpenter. very much so on purpose. I mean, Joe Bob Briggs did show this during one of the seasons, so he goes into it much more about the production of this as well. Um, I like it because it's quite unique, and it's a very nice ghost story and very 80s feel definitely 80s it's got feel. that 80s vibe all throughout it aside from the 50s parts except for the 50s parts absolutely and it um, follows the style of the 80s with those horror movies where at the end you're like oh the, they've been defeated but then you have that last little oh no i'm still here you know they did that in the first night i'm sure in the end there even though it didn't follow through with any of the sequels so it's just an added bit there for just the audience at the end is like, oh no, they're still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that that was good. I liked how the one kid kept saying she's possessed. <laughs> He's like, he knows something possessed. ain't right about her. Possessed. Yeah. I feel like the priest should have figured out how to fight her off a little better. I find it interesting that he went into priesthood when he was the bad boy in high school. He probably felt guilt not being able to save her when she was lit on the fire in some way. That's yeah, because you couldn't, like, go grab the punch bowl and dump it on her or go get a fire extinguisher. Mm, they were panicking, you know. Yeah, well. Maybe they drank all the punch. Maybe. Still think there was a fire extinguisher somewhere nearby or something. There's always an axe nearby. Why is there never a hose or a water source? In these movies. I don't get it. Because she needed to burn up so we can advance the plot. I guess so. Um. 
don't know. I liked Michael Ironside's performance. Uh, He's always good, yeah. Interesting kills in this movie, too. Not just your standard, you know, no. slasher-like type of kills. No they knives were involved in the making some of this horror through. film. Yeah. First time I think I've ever seen a locker kill somebody. That was very creative. That was pretty cool the way they did that. Um, I really don't like the first murder, only because I have a thing about being hot, hanged. It wigs me up. Yeah, and they fake you out on that, too. It was pretty brilliant, because you're like, oh, no, they're setting up for the Seriously, slicing though, of the head. the number of times I had teachers warn us, do not get your hand in the way of this. You will take it right off, and people act stupid about it. But, like, I was afraid of those things from the time I saw them until graduation. I still don't like them. I don't want them anywhere near me. They're, ugh. <laughs> it's like a baby guillotine yeah. on a hinge. That would have been the perfect setup for it. Too. Yeah. I, I, they definitely psyched you out. Yeah, they faked really you well. out and they're like, no, they're gonna Psych. hang you. Psych! We're gonna hang you. And then throw her out the window. Out the window you go, just like Sarah Michelle Geller and Scream 2. Well, I guess that was more off a balcony, but still. There was a fall and just a splat. Fall. And a splat. Yeah. I. Overall, it wasn't as horrifying as I thought, although I really. I did find it interesting with the scene where they killed the girl in the locker, how she stalked her around the locker room mm -hmm. completely naked. Yeah, I like that scene. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, it was definitely appeasing. She has a great figure. It's memorable. It's very memorable. Because, it's, because you haven't you seen know, that in anything else, really. You'd think that she'd want to put on a towel or something. Even Little Miss Modest... From their 50s mm -hmm. uh, dress and all that jazz. No, no, she's totally calm. Walking completely naked. She doesn't feel vulnerable at all. She does not feel like any type all. of prey. She knows she's the predator in that yes. moment. Yes, and you can see it written from her head to her toe. The actress put on a fantastic performance. She was very well acted by that actress. Yes. That character. When she's both being haunted and possessed. Yeah. And it's hard to play both roles and switch between them. Mm-hmm. So, so, major props to her. That was a great job by her. Mm-hmm. Um, I also liked the performance of Monica, who played the best friend, and who always played the supportive best friend without mm -hmm. ever getting trashy, without ever getting catty. No. I think that was great. Um, overall, it's a great slasher flick. And, you know, even even though it's not quite as Susie Q as you thought it was, it's still not that far off, and the dress is, like, on par. Yeah, 50 spirit and such. No, I yeah. mean, like, even her dress yeah. reminds you of Susie Q. Yeah. It, like I mentioned, it's the third one, actually, where she does come back again, and you actually see her. She's as being a ghost. As a ghost, she's, like, haunting some dude. That's much more Susie Q in the horror theme. Sort of, yeah. That I remember now. Mm-hmm. But that's also a cool one. I'd recommend that, too. Oh, Not as good as, I think, this one. At least on just, you know, how memorable it is, how unique it is. Mm -hmm. But still interesting. I did see the fourth one, too. It's... Did they remake this into something modern? <sighs> They have not Not yet. this particular one, but Prom Night in general. Prom Night, yes. The original Prom Night did have a remake. I did not see that one. Um, this movie itself, with this particular story, I don't believe they have remade. But I feel like it would be a good remake okay. to do. Okay, then help me out here. Because I feel like I once saw something similar to this. But I, I feel like it might have actually had something to do with a Sweet 16. And then there's a girl. And there's a serial killer. And I think the girl's father is the serial killer. I'm drawing a blank. <sighs> I want to say it might be Sweet Sixteen. I don't know. I don't actually. See. I I came onto it towards the end, so I don't actually know what happened. I thought you might. Well, you know. maybe somebody watching us will oh, actually know what you're talking though? about. It's not new, or excuse me, it is new, newer. It's from. Post 2000, which means you probably haven't seen it. Because you prefer the older stuff. I've seen stuff post You've 2000. You've seen stuff, but you're not as a big of a buff on the newer stuff as you are on the older There's stuff. There's some good new stuff, too. You know what? Next movie we watch, it's going to be a newer movie, okay? One mm -hmm. that I really like. Okay. One I'm not seen. saying it's a bad thing or that liking the 80s is like some sort of crime. It's just. Yeah. 
Usually your flavor is the 70s and the 80s. And well, you explain that before it's because of the practical effects and you don't like Practical CGI. effects and also they've had time to build up a following and appreciation. Whereas new movies, you don't know if they're actually worth watching or if they're going to be remembered in such a way. Like the old movies, they've built up that cred. So I know it's something that would be worth watching at least. Yeah. And I know you watch new stuff because you had me watch things like Happy Death Day. and No, yeah, that's great. Happy Death Day too. Christopher Landon, uh, he's a great director. His yeah. films are a lot of fun. So. You haven't seen Freaky yet, though, have you? No, is that the new one where the serial killer and the teenage girl switch bodies? Yes. No. Cool. You saw that one in theaters. I know, and I also got that when it was released. That's a cool one we should watch. Also, Malignant. I saw that recently. That's a good newer film to watch. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, so there are newer films that are great that should be seen as well. I'm, I'm just start seen. I'm just going through some no. classic films for you now. No, I think that's good yeah. and start things that establish the genre. This is like how I learned about music in high school. Yeah. I actually took a class called History of Rock and Roll mm -hmm. and it started with the the blues mm -hmm. and uh, moved into the 50s rock yeah. and then moved decade yeah. by decade up. So getting to go to like this is pretty much the beginning of horror is the 70s and the 80s because I don't think they had any from the 60s, right? Oh, they had 60s horror stuff, just not as well known Was and not more? as genre establishing as happened in the 70s and 80s. Okay. Yeah, because as I mentioned before, Scream itself was a big demarcation point in horror. After that point, horror movies could then acknowledge past horror films and characters that knew about it. So new films today, you're going to have those characters that are going to know the tropes, they're going to know past horror films, they may even reference them. And you may be like, oh, I never saw that before. And they may give you a spoiler in older films. So I feel like it's better to watch the older, the older films, films first, at least to get, spoilers may come from. to get that base knowledge first. And then you can be no, with the newer characters. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. It's, you're learning, you're learning the, the, the culture behind the culture first. You're doing mm -hmm. it in order. Yeah. Which I think is important. And I am not knocking you for any movie you've picked at all. Yeah. We're not watching the oldest stuff, though, like the Universal Horror Films, which are good as well, but they don't... They're not really horror. They're not as relevant today with the modern tropes of horror. Correct. Modern horror really began by 70s and 80s. The old monster movies are exactly that. They are monster movies. They are classics. They're There's movies of their time. I would show yeah. to children. You know, like my by today's standards, nephew, yeah, I would that show scary. that to them. They're not that bad. Especially Dracula. Dracula's not bad at all. No. Not um, bad at all. Yeah, but, I don't think I yeah. would show the 70s and 80s slasher flicks to my nieces. <laughs> my nephew and my oldest niece, sure, but not the younger ones. Yeah, pretty much horror films as we know them, they were established <laughs> by the 70s and 80s when they were allowed to be This is more... when everybody was experimental and playing. It's back when they were allowed to be, you know, edgy, because there was a post Hayes code, um... It was Hollywood kind of a, instead to, of a can they, it's yeah. a should they, and the answer was, well, nobody's done it before, so why not? Yeah. So. Like, how how far can we go now, since we're technically allowed to do this now, just slap an R rating I on it? I feel like there was a lot of times where they just sat around and go, hey, what if we did this? Yeah, what haven't we done yet? Let's put her in a toaster. Mm-hmm. And then you got people like Tom Savini with his effects work uh, coming in for, like, the Dawn of the Dead films, uh, Friday the 13th. He became major just with the uh, practical effects. And then you have just regular creature effects by Rick Baker and Stan Winston, as I mentioned before, with just what they can do. So there's a lot more of experimentation. Um, and then they gave us Jurassic Park. <laughs> yep, and then CGI came along where, as great as Jurassic Park was, that was, I think, the start of the death knell of just original practical effects and horror movies. Well, I mean, they're also really expensive. So they were always trying to look for different ways to cut the budget and to still have it look top notch as best they can while mm -hmm. costing less. Yeah. Only thing is nowadays, even though as great as they can look, you still know what you're seeing was not done in real life. It was just created by a computer. Whereas when you watch one of these, you're looking at it, you're like, wow, I can't believe they actually were able to do that. How did they do that? It's like a magician yeah, you type of thing. Yeah, definitely look at it and say like, well, yeah. that blood's obviously fake. But they managed yeah. to figure out a way to slit her throat with using the actual actress or actor. Yeah, it's actually the there and that's part of the art form that I really appreciate that I get to see. Mm -hmm. I get that. Mm -hmm. And I understand. So, this was... So this was Prom Night. Hello, Mary Lou. This was Prom Night 2. It has nothing to do with the original Prom Night because mm -hmm. that's Hollywood for you. 
Because <laughs> why would we do that? Yeah, so, but still a great movie on its own. Um, my favorite of the Prom Night series. And so. hey, that's the second movie in a row. I didn't try and rip your arm out of the socket. Yeah, that is. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> I can give you one to make your, rip my arm out of my socket. I still have... I've been holding back on some pretty... Good. You are doing good, but I've been avoiding some of the more... Um, you had me watch Hellraiser! Yeah, that was that was a big one. That was an arm-grabbing one, but there are still more ones that will make you do that for me, I'm pretty certain, but I haven't shown you yet. I'm positive there are. I thought I was getting better. I'm trying to <laughs> have a bit of variety, and you seem to like you <gasps> are getting better, but there's still some shit I can make you watch where you're going to be like, what the fuck, and you'll be grossed out by it. Oh, I guarantee it. Just make sure, you know, I take drama meme beforehand. <laughs> okay. Or the kitchen and the living room's going to smell. <laughs> and while I just got that fancy new carpet cleaner, I'd rather not break it. Yeah. From overuse. It's okay. When I feel like doing one of those movies, I'll warn you beforehand. Thanks! I appreciate it. This will be one with freaky practical effects that may make you go, ah! Yeah. Or something like that. Alright, so, until that time, this was another reaction for another movie that was a first time watch for my roommate. Yes. And we hope to see you for the next one we do. Yes, come back again. <laughs> Alright, see you then. Bye. Next time.